When you hear these stories, it's a little bit deeper than just the music. There's cats out here really trying to do something and really trying to spark the idea of positivity. Yeah, I don't really understand why the B's there either. RWB started as a body shop in the countryside of Chibiken, Japan 15 years ago. Since then, Ravelt 911s are seen all around Japan, Europe, and the US, both on and off the racetrack. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to pronounce this word, Porsche. So if you pronounce it any other way and want to make fun of me for it, go right ahead, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. is Akira Nakai. Nakai-san, as he's known, is the founder, CEO, and artist behind RWB. Nakai is known for his Coca-Cola and smoking habits when working on each car. He'll burn through liters of Coke and cartons of cigarettes until a full-blown piece of art comes out the other side. Nakai started in a different place, however. He began his work in motorsports with AE86s and drifting. Shameless plug, my last video in this series actually went over the AE86, so after this, go check that out. Eventually, Nakai would meet his new passion in the form of a crashed white 911 that rolled into his shop. After working on it for a bit, he was hooked and purchased a 930 as his first Porsche. This went on to become a legend. He bolted his custom wide body kit to the Porsche and named it Stella Artois, supposedly after his favorite brand of beer. The rest, as we say, is history. I first heard about RWB Porsches when I fell in love with the 930 Turbo, or the Widowmaker as it is known. I was scrolling through images of them and stumbled upon a red 930 with gold wheels, and of course, the RWB fenders and wing. I was in love from that moment. They were so ridiculous and out of this world, but looked amazing. I had a new dream car. But where did they come from? How were they made? Akira Nakai creates every Porsche by hand on site. He saws off the old fenders, rivets and seals the new ones onto the body, mounts a new spoiler, bumpers, and side skirts, and adds wide wheels and tires to fit the new body. The work is not done by a team. It's normally only done by Nakai alone with his tools by hand. They're not expensive specialized tools though. He uses an electric saw, some caulk, rivets, and a few other simple tools to shape the Porsche to his liking. It's amazing to see him work his magic and the cars he creates when he's done. Now keep in mind, RWB started as just a body shop and has mainly stuck to that. RWB Porsches normally stay stock in terms of the engine. New suspension and brakes are normally fitted to the car to keep handling well, even if the engine isn't making a lot of power. What you end up with is an amazing handling car that is not going to spin the wheels every time you bother to look at the accelerator. To be fair, Nakai started his craft in the racing industry, so he'll focus on handling well before he goes for all-out power. Also, him being a fan of NA cars doesn't leave much room in terms of tunability. If there is one thing that all Ralvelt Porsches have, it's style. Every car is given a unique name by Nakai, and that name is plastered on the side for all to see. That may not seem too impressive until you realize that Nakai has made hundreds of these cars all with unique names. Some of the names can have a lot of meaning behind them, like Kiyokishi, meaning Battle Might, or names like Pandora, the radio service he was using while working on the car. Now that I think of it, he actually named two cars Pandora. Still sounds cool. Looking for more unique style? Take a look at the tires. He letters them himself with spray paint and a stencil that reads Idlers. What is the Idler brand? Some random brand that Nakai came up with himself that he letters every tire with. Everywhere you look on a Ralvelt, there's a dash of style, from the canted speedometer to the ridiculously large wings. However, not every car is the same. 
they're not just Porsches with wide bodies on them. The Kai spends hours on every car adjusting every little detail to his own specifications. He wants every car to be perfectly balanced and feel amazing every time you go for a drive. I've never driven an RWB Porsche, sadly, but from what I've heard, it doesn't feel like just a fast Porsche. Sure, every car feels like it has a story behind it and a certain aura surrounding it, but a Rao Velt is different. Every Rao Velt feels like a piece of Nakai's history. Every single one feels like it has its own unique personality. What is Rotana? Rotana is the name of Nakai's newest personal car. He of course started off with Stella Artois when he first made RWB, but he recently created himself a new car he calls Rotana. Now, when I said earlier that most RWB cars don't focus on the engine, I was right, but this one is different. Nakai took a 993 and fit a huge wide body kit on it, as he does. In the rear he is sporting massive 14 inch wide tires and 12 and a halfs in the front. With the engine, they went all out with this one. Nakai got front row, a Porsche tuner, to rebuild the internals of the engine and fit a decently sized turbo on it. Because he is so used to naturally aspirated cars, he wanted the car specifically tuned to have the mid-range torque he was used to. And it sure does. Currently, it is making 575 horsepower and is being used around the world by Nakai to compete in any racing event he can get into. He debuted at the Idler Games, a grassroots racing event started in Scuba, Japan. Now why have I mentioned Rotana over any of the other hundreds of cars RWB has produced? Well, because this is Nakai's car. It really represents what Ralvelt really is. Balls to the walls crazy and ready for the track whenever the situation calls for it. RWB is one of the most legendary, if not the most legendary, mod shops of all time. I believe it is the perfect blend of both European and Japanese car culture. Each car has a personality of its own and drives unique in its own way. That's it for today's video. This is the second video in this series. I'm basically researching cars that I've always liked in depth and sharing it all with you guys. If you have an idea for the next video, comment it below and it may be featured in a future video. Thanks for watching.